Hello there. Welcome back to Formula One, my team, part 24 here today for the Bahrain Grand Prix in season two. Yeah, Australia was decent, I guess. I mean, we got into the points for that race with the top 10, and here we are looking to try to make some upgrades of some sort so we could be even better for this Bahrain Grand Prix. A crazy... An unexpected race, I guess you could say. There was a lot of weird things happening in this race. Not necessarily revolving around us most of the time, but still. So we look on to the R&D side of things. We really need to start making upgrades or we're never going to become a big team. I'm trying, I just can't. Look, we're actually falling back. We are not making any progress. I just don't know how to do it. If anybody knows, you could go down in the comments, but I do like every practice program and practice, it still doesn't work. Even if I don't, I still sim all the practices, obviously, for the R&D points. But... There, in case you're wondering what I did to the livery, I pretty much just put sponsors on the car and changed the color. So here's practice that I don't feel like recording my voice over. It's practice. I'm going to spin in practice. I'm going to use rewinds in practice. That's when I want to use them rather than in the race which i've been getting very good on the rewinds if i've had to use any it's been very little like one or two a race but on to the r d side of things um don't think we're going to make any upgrades here because probably want to make a major upgrade so that way we could become stronger but i do that anyways I'm an idiot. On to Quali. Cross the line for our first lap. Or fifth. We fall back down to 20th. On lap two. Come back across the line. Now. And we're still in 20th. So on this final lap, we're really trying to improve. We are really up. Our first two laps, we had a lot of mistakes. But on this lap... P8. Why did it say 19th originally? That That's a big change. I mean, wow, that's good. Maybe a lot of people had penalties or something, but... No. So headed into this Bahrain Grand Prix, we are going to be starting from 8th on the grid, Jack. It's down in P20. And... So Bahrain, 29 laps. Of course, since it's 50% races now instead of 25. This is going to be a good race. Don't look away just yet. Let's head down to the track. Here's David Croft with the whole pre-race thing that the game does that I find pretty cool. The stage is set for another enthralling race here in the kingdom of Bahrain. A Ferrari stronghold in years gone by, but will they be able to add to their record today? There's no shortage of passing opportunities around the 3.36 miles of the Bahrain International Circuit, with the best at Turn 1, of course, and then another soon into Turn 4. 15 corners here, 6 to the left and 9 to the right, and we could see one or two flat spots into the tight left-hander of Turn 10. Anthony Davidson is alongside me as usual for the race today. Let's start with the new Alfa Romeo driver. We have a number of changes to the aerodynamic regulations this year and the signs haven't looked good for them so far in terms of getting to grips with those changes. It doesn't look promising for them so far. And if the new regs have hit them as hard as we think, well, I suspect they may need a few late nights at the factory to get back on track. All right, now, looking out, at the race strategy, it looks like it's going to be a two-stopper here from softs to mediums to mediums. 
once again. We'll see how this race goes as fuel looks like we're going to be half a lap over target, but that's fine as long as we have enough fuel to make it to the end of the race and use some rich mix if we need it. So we roll off now for the formation lap to warm up the tires and get ready for this race. We're not going to watch the full formation lap here. We're actually going to skip to the end. And yeah, just ignore that. My I was going fast at the when the AI took over and it drove right through Lando Bot. So just ignore that. And Lando drove right back through us. So now the field's lining up for the race. So we have like 20 seconds to prepare. I guess mentally, whatever. And ask myself, why am I wasting my life doing this? As we get ready now to the five red lights for the Bahrain Grand Prix in season two. It's lights out and away we go. Not a good start compared to the people around us. Put the McLarens in front of us. Get off well. We go three wide down the inside and get up into P3 for a second. And now we are officially in P3. And Valtteri pulling away, but here comes Carlos. Carlos Sainz down the inside in the turn four. Going to have the spot. We run into the back of him. Luckily, no damage to the wing since it's on reduced damage. Carlos Sainz is through us for P3. And later on, at the end of the first lap, we've actually lost him. Sergio Perez, Checo, leads this race. Sergio in a rental. See if he could hang on because, I mean, he is being chased down by a Mercedes. We'll said Silver O, Arrow, forgot they're in the black livery for this season. But around the outside goes the other rental of Esteban Alcon. Yeah, they seem to be very fast. Maybe it's not so surprising that Sergio is leading. I mean, his teammates up here in P4 battling for it with me. Esteban is through for the spot. As we have DRS on him, but we are going to be too far back here on lap number three of this race to really make any sort of move and get on through. Later on lap four, this... It's going to be a good chance we're close to Esteban. I feel like we're decent out of the final corner, but not the best we could be there. But anyways, we have the DRS. We have the run. And we should have the stronger rental engine of the two teams. So we take a dive down the inside and cleanly complete the pass. Up in the P4. Carlos Sainz is... Walk away a decent bit, but really hasn't made that much progress since the end of the first lap. Now he's really starting to pull away, though, on lap number five as we're side by side. That's only going to make Carlos pull away even more than what he is. We have the line, though. We stay in front of Esteban. And it's time to try to hunt down Carlos Sainz for the podium. Our first podium in F1, I believe. Esteban tries to make a pass there. We're not going to let him do that, though. Need to stay in front of Alcon here. Or at least we need to pull away so we're not fighting him. I didn't want to fall behind him and just use him for DRS because if we tried that, it felt like we might have lost him. And that would just hurt us even more. But lap six, going into the pits now. For our stop. Times 5 speed is absolutely amazing. I love this new update to InShot. But away we go once again. Out of the pits. We are in P21. Max Verstappen, I believe, already pit in the Red Bull. In case you couldn't tell, we started fifth in that race. Which means three drivers had penalties. I believe Hamilton was one. And I believe the two Ferraris maybe were the other two drivers. But Lewis Hamilton and I believe one of the Ferraris were at least two of the three who had penalties. Max Verstappen very well could have been the other driver with the penalty. But they so far have not yet recovered as Esteban is in front of us. But crucially, two cars in front of us. So we have to get Grosjean and DeVries here as quickly as we can. Can we get on by Romain and Nick? 
Yes. Take a big dive bomb down the inside. And we get them both. That was probably one of the best dive bombs I've ever done. Other than that one around the outside on F1 2019 on like my second video on this game. On that game. I did the bottom range short and I went around the outside of like five cars on in the middle of the race as well. It's not like it was on the start. I went around the outside of five cars down into the turn one hairpin. Might have been four, but... Anyways, later in the lap, past Nobuharu Masushita, and we were right behind Esteban once again. Trying to get on by Ocon, and as you can see up there, there are a lot of cars up there. Jack Aitken is after Esteban, and we are closing in on him. 2.6 seconds the gap right now as we come to the end of lap number nine and Esteban's pretty much caught Jack in this train of cars in front of him we jump someone in the pits it's Lance Stroll in the racing point and we are actually going to go down to the inside of Esteban who gets held up by Jack thanks Jack he always knew it was a good idea having you stay on the team and he helps us out there Brilliant. Nice move, says Jeff. Who cares, Jeff, but... Lap 10. Trying to get Jack here. Need to move through this train as fast as we can if we want a podium. Because as you can see up there, Carlos Sainz is stuck in this train. And so is Valtteri Bottas. So we can potentially get a second place finish here in Bahrain. Of course, I think Sergio... On the mini map, you see that yellow dot? I'm pretty sure that is the Renault of Sergio Perez. Which means Sergio, I'm pretty sure, is already in front of this train and pulling away. Which is not good. No, actually, I think he's that yellow dot behind the red dot on the mini map in the middle of the racetrack. He's behind a Ferrari right now, which means he is far in front. But we jumped down the inside of Danny, Daniel Kvyat. And next up is going to be K-Mag, Kevin Magnuson. Followed by Pierre Gasly. And it looks like Antonio Giovinazzi in his new racing point. And those two will be the final two drivers in this train. I was feeling good about a podium here. Lap 12. Down the inside of Daniel Kvyat. Yeah, Sergio's 16 seconds up the road. There's no way we're getting him. He's on a second set of softs, which means he's probably going to the hard tier, but still don't think we're going to have a shot at getting him here. But Antonio Giovinazzi, we are going to get him at least. He's on the medium tires. And as we work lap 13, we get on by him. And unless he comes back at us, that should be all that we see for really the rest of this race until our pit stop, at least in like four laps. But here, Lewis Hamilton, Antonio Giovinazzi, K-Mag, Daniel Kvyat, and one other driver back there. At least all on one stops, which means we need to get them by at least 20 seconds or so if we want to beat them in this race. Which is bad as we come into pit pit this time will we have the pace to catch them it's our second stop i could have very well stayed out you know when i was looking at the race director it didn't hit me that they could very well be going to the end of this race which really sucks because the mediums were not they probably would have had major tire wear by the end of the stint by the end of the race but still I probably could have made it to the end of the race if I stretched the softs and the mediums a bit longer and did a one-stop myself. Because of that, we are really going to have to push hard here and get away from Valtteri Bottas, first of all. If we want to catch these cars in front that are on the one-stop, which is Latifi Stroll up there. So those two all on the one-stop, you can see they're on the hard tires. They won't be pitting in the final... 10 or 11 laps however many we have to go in this race we are really going to have to reel them in here if we want to catch them coming back around at the 
end of lap 20 this is. Valtteri Bottas makes another charge at us. This time we're going to cross him over maybe, but he gets the run out of the final corner and down the front stretch and past the pits. We have DRS, we have speed, we have overtake, and maybe Rich Mix, I wasn't looking at it enable but we get on by nonetheless and we are up in the p6 once again 12 seconds behind nick we are really gonna have to pick this up if we want to catch nicholas latifi and lance Stroll before the end of this race antonio giovanazzi actually had a a mechanical failure and retired from this race which means only the guys who are in, which means Probably, I think, only Latifi and Stroll, those two guys, are the only guys ahead of us now that we really need to catch. And maybe one more in front of them, which I believe is the other alpha of George Russell, who I do not believe we are going to catch here on lap 23. <sighs> As we come around to lap 24, we are just trying trying everything to catch up to these leader well not the leaders but these cars in front <sighs> this is going to be close not really catching them enough at this rate but if we could just pick it up a slight bit we might have a chance we might have a chance and a chance is all we need here but you could see green for sector, so we're it's not like we're slow or anything. And we're catching. Just look at the intervals in the uh, top left. Where the positions are, you could see we are gaining. Stroll ahead. Okay, gap ahead is 10.2 seconds. They're on old hearts. Their tires are 14 laps old. The time last lap was a 1.32.3. You're closing in by around 1.4 seconds a lap. Ugh, that isn't enough. 1.4 seconds a lap, that's it. It's one of the few times you'll ever see Jeff the Engineer be helpful in this game. But across the line... Just two laps to go now. Esteban actually has a run on us as we are not going to catch up to the cars in front. They are still 5.5 seconds in front. If we had another 10 laps, we would have gotten there. Probably gotten on the podium, but because I wasn't paying attention to the race director earlier, we are not going to get on the podium. The Renault of Sergio Perez wins this race, but we do cross the line in B6, which is solid points. All the points. We actually get promoted to P5 for some reason. We'll have to see what happens. George Russell, driver of the day. Somehow it's not. Jacko, who did win this race in a Renault. Who must be pretty good, but... Lewis Hamilton is not on that list. What happened? Why is he all up down? Did he get DQ'd or penalized, or did he blow a tire or something? I need to see what happened here. I mean, I still don't know what happened. Now, I need to... There's nothing on the incidents thing, which means he didn't get penalized for any reason. My only guess now is that he didn't use two different tire compounds or didn't use one of the mandatory ones which is a possibility if we go down no that's not it oh i'm looking at giovanazzi oops yeah that was a mistake didn't want to look at Tonio, but on the hamlin hamilton hamilton this isn't nascar and no one likes denny but See, nothing went wrong, and he was on two different tire compounds, so I have no idea what happened here. Maybe it's a glitch. Who knows? Promoted me into P5, which is only like my third top five in the series, so that's good. And, yeah. I'm still questioning what has happened here. If anybody knows, like, if it's a glitch or something... 
please go down in the comments and tell me what happened. But anyways, thank you all for watching here today. Next episode will probably be live in just a few minutes from when this is uploaded. It will be the Vietnam Grand Prix Season 3. Oh boy. Well, maybe it'll be live today. I'm not entirely sure. But it will be live. So the Vietnam Grand Prix will be up next. And by the way, my mic also broke, so I won't be able to talk through that. But still, it'll be live. You'll see me play the entire thing because, I mean, it is Vietnam. Here are the highlights. Thank you all for watching. Like, subscribe, hit the notification bell if you want more. Have a nice day. See ya.